Hey everybody, Brian Altano here, and in today's gaming news, we finally got the release date and some new details for the highly anticipated Fallout 4 next-gen update. Helldivers 2 just stealth dropped some amazing new ship upgrades, and the classic game franchise Contra is bringing guns to vampire survivors. Awesome. It's the Daily Fix. <laughs> Okay, if that brand new Fallout TV show has you itching to jump back into a Fallout game or play one for the first time, we have some really good news for you. Bethesda has finally announced a release date for the long-awaited Fallout 4 next-gen update. The free upgrade for the post-apocalyptic open-world role-playing game launches April 25th on Xbox Series X and S and PlayStation 5 and includes native applications for the consoles, performance mode and quality mode settings, as well as stability improvements and fixes. This means the game will be playable at up to 60 frames per second with an increased resolution. If you're still rocking the last gen consoles, it's all right, it happens. Fallout 4 and PlayStation 4 and Xbox One will also get a free update that makes the game run slightly better and fixes some stuff that's been wrong with it since it launched on those platforms almost nine years ago. Oh my God. PC players don't feel left out. An update on there adds widescreen and ultra widescreen support, as well as fixes to Creation Kit and a variety of Quest updates. Those changes will be available if you own Fallout 4 on Steam, the Microsoft Store, GOG, and if that wasn't enough, digital marketplaces. And it's also coming to the Epic Game Store. Finally, Steam Deck owners will be happy to hear that Fallout 4 is officially Steam Deck verified, so you can take your Wasteland adventures while you're out and about in our real world dystopia. Strap your Steam Deck to your waist and pretend it's a pit bull for the absolute worst possible experience. All of those upgrades will probably not put an end to the often funny and janky glitches associated with this series, like the time my character clipped through a tree and got stuck inside, and then I killed waves of enemies because my guns could hurt them, but their guns couldn't hurt me, but none of it mattered because I couldn't progress and I had to reload my save anyway. But hey, at least now that can happen at 60 frames per second and the tree will look better. Fallout. If you don't own Fallout 4 or any money at all and you want to start playing a classic Fallout game without having to spend a single bottle cap on it, Amazon Prime members can currently download Fallout Tactics, Brotherhood of Steel, as well as Fallout 76 at no additional cost on PC. You can even sign up for a free 30-day trial for Amazon Prime and play those games without being a paid member. That's called a life hack or a, a cheat. We've got a whole slew of Fallout game deals uh, for you to check out over on IGN.com, including a way to get seven Fallout games on Steam for just 20 23 bucks for all of them. So go check those out. And uh, I'm I'm sorry for saying the word slew back there. That's a that's a gross word. It's up there with moist and viscous and slurry. Just horrible words. Helldivers 2 developer Arrowhead has stealth dropped new ship upgrades alongside the new premium war bond, Democratic Detonation. Six new ship upgrades are now available on PS5 and PC, one for each section of the ship module. What are they, Brian, you ask? Well, let's dig into them. There's superior packing methodology, resupply boxes, refill support weapons with the maximum number of carryable magazines, atmospheric monitoring, orbital heat barrage, spread reduced by 15%. XXL Weapons Bay Eagle Stratagems that drop multiple bombs will drop one additional bomb. This is S. Enhanced Combustion Fire Damage from Stratagems increased by 25%, as well as Circuit Expansion Lightning Arcs fired from weapons and turrets jump to one additional enemy. And Blast Absorption Sentries take 50% less damage from explosions. Now, to access these upgrades, you'll need to have unlocked the previous modules. Otherwise, you're going to have to grind and grind and grind away. If for some reason you haven't played Helldivers 2 yet, go check out our official review as well as our Helldivers 2 guides that will get you ready to save the world. And if you haven't seen the movie Starship Troopers, please fix that too. Starship Troopers rules. Would you like to know more? Well, too bad. We have to move on to the next story. And finally today, Contra and Vampire Survivors are joining forces for a new Vampire Survivors DLC coming to every version of the game on May 9th. It's called Vampire Survivors Operation Guns. That's such a great title. And it looks completely awesome and silly as hell, and I'm here for it. You'll be able to play with 20 new weapons as well as play as several classic Contra characters, the most ridiculous of which is Brad Fang, a werewolf with a machine gun. 
you truly love to see it. This is especially funny since Vampire Survivors was originally built using sprites from another classic Konami game, Castlevania, before switching over to original assets in the version that was ultimately released that we've all played. Also, if you've been waiting to play Vampire Survivors on your PlayStation 5, we have even more good news today. The highly addictive arcade shooter that looks like an NES game on steroids is finally coming to PS5 this summer after already being on Xbox, Switch, PC, and mobile, and probably like a smart fridge or something, uh, like an e-bike. Better late than never, I've been completely hooked on this game on several platforms already, and it usually just costs a couple of bucks to buy, so I'll probably get it on PS5 too. And yes, sign me the hell up for any and all Contra-related nonsense. Although I didn't really like the last game that much. That's your daily fix for Thursday, April 11th. We had fun today. If you're loving that new Fallout show and somehow binge the whole season already, go check out IGN's Fallout Season 1, Ending Explained, over on YouTube. I'll give you a sneak peek about the Ending Explained. Those names listed on screen when the season ended, that's called credits. That's the people who worked on the show. That's a spoilers, or uh, Easter eggs, or whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow.